While many of us no longer use a printer on a daily basis thanks to computers and smart devices that let us take documents and other files with us, the need for a printer is far from gone. Sometimes you just need a hard copy of a plane ticket, shipping label, medical document or contract. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and I recently got the HP DeskJet 2755E. In this review, I'll outline the important features of this home office printer, what it's like to set up, what you should know about its limitations, how well it prints, and if overall I can recommend it for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please mash that like button and hit me with a sub, since both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. And don't forget, if you want to read, reference, or share this review, head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. The three main functions of this printer are that it can print, copy, and scan. Documents can be printed in either black and white or color, and the printer supports mobile and wireless printing. For those interested in the wireless printing functionality, this printer supports the HP Smart app, as well as Apple AirPrint, Chrome OS, and a couple of others. If you're still using faxes, this printer doesn't support those. The HP DeskJet 2755E printer weighs about 7.5 pounds and it measures about 16 by 12 by 6 inches when the output extension isn't expanded. With an input tray that can hold about 60 sheets of paper and the output tray that can hold about 25, the DeskJet 2755E is also able to hold up to 5 envelopes at a time if you're printing mailouts. The HP DeskJet 2755E printer does offer direct USB connectivity, but it's also built with dual band Wi-Fi, meaning it's able to connect to wireless internet faster and it creates a more reliable connection between your devices and the printer. It can also reset itself if necessary and it keeps its firmware up to date automatically. Let's dig in a bit on the setup process. The printer doesn't come with much, but it is all you need. There's a power cable and a black and white and a color ink cartridge, which you need to install. Gone are the days of needing a CD to install and set up your printer. Instead, the HP Smart app will walk you through how to get your printer set up and online. One of the first things to do is to install the ink cartridges. These snap easily into place inside the printer's front door. As I mentioned, the device does come with a USB port, but you have to purchase the cable separately. That's probably why most users will opt to print wirelessly instead. So the setup guide will help you connect to Wi-Fi and it'll have your device ready to go fairly quickly. I'm not gonna get into the detailed how-to on the setup since it can be pretty different based on whether you're connecting with a smartphone or a computer and whether that computer is Windows or Apple. HP does offer tech support for getting your printer connected and online if you do need it. And in the past, when I have had to use it, it's actually been really great. With this printer though, it was a simple matter of connecting it to my home's Wi-Fi network, which took just a few minutes. HP says this printer is best for basic documents, things like forms or travel documents. The print speed is up to about seven and a half pages per minute for black and white and about five and a half per minute for color. In my experience, those times are accurate since when I was printing mostly in color, it took about 12 to 15 seconds per page. Black and white pages though were lightning fast, particularly if they had less text. Unlike some of HP's other printers, the HP DeskJet 2755E does not print double-sided. The HP Smart app allows you to scan and print documents and photos from your smartphone and then have them print on your DeskJet printer. Somewhat annoyingly, HP does make you create an account to use at least some of these features. Simple copies can be made by putting any documents on the 8.5 by 11 flatbed scanner. Just press the color or black and white copy button, but you do need to make these copies one at a time, laying each page on the printer. A word of warning also, every time you press the copy button will give one output copy, so press it once and wait or you might end up with multiple copies you didn't need. 
Because of the limited on-device features of this budget printer, you do need the HP Smart app for scanning. You'll lay your documents again on the flatbed and use the HP Smart app to create a digital copy on your phone. It takes between 15 and 18 seconds to create a full digital scan. Then you can send it or save it to your phone or to a variety of apps or productivity tools. You can also choose which file format you end up with, including JPEGs or PDFs, and you can save your preferred settings for future scans. Probably worth noting here is that there is also an HP Smart app for your computer if you prefer using that. Now, if this scanning process seems tedious and like it would take a while for a lot of documents, yeah, it kind of is, but that is the price you pay for a lower cost printer. HP has what it calls its instant ink program, and I've been using this for probably about the last six or eight years, and I think it is definitely worth it. And I don't even get a commission off saying that, by the way. With instant ink, your printer automatically communicates directly with HP when it starts to run low on ink. The HP system will automatically ship whichever cartridge you're running low on, and it usually arrives well before you run out completely. That way, when you actually run out of ink, you always have some immediately ready to reinstall. The price for the service varies depending on how much you print in a given month, but I find it is quite affordable and it means I don't have to run out of ink at an inopportune time or go hunting all over town for the correct ink cartridge. You've seen a few examples throughout this video, but let's hit on the document quality. I printed a variety of documents, including things like recipes, shipping labels, emails, and contract. The printing was very legible, crisp, and smudge free. I used an extremely lightweight paper during my testing with this printer, and I found that despite that, the ink didn't bleed. So will this printer print photos? Right on the box, it says it is best for basic home document printing, which leads me to believe photo printing is not going to be its strong suit. Even so, I did give it a try for your benefit. Again, you do need the HP Smart app for this, but it is easy to navigate. Just choose your photo, the number of copies, and there's a few other options. Plus, you can do limited photo editing inside the HP Smart app. I found that while the photo printing is slow, it does print good quality pictures. Now, it takes about a minute and 20 seconds to print out a photo on dedicated photo paper, which is a long time, but it's not that far off what other printers do, and you can can print multiple copies of a single photo at once too. Overall, the HP DeskJet 2755E is a good basic printer that gets the job done for occasional printing needs. While it's not a workhorse that can print faster or better than other models and it doesn't have a lot of extra options like double-sided printing, it does do wireless printing really well and it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's not overly noisy and using the HP Instant Ink program means you'll never run dry. Any downsides you might identify can be resolved simply by upgrading to a different model of HP printer. If you need higher volume printing, automatic document feeding, double-sided printing or scanning or dedicated photo printing or even faxing skills, these are all available from different and probably more expensive models of HP printers. But this machine seems built to handle basic printing tasks while keeping the price very low. You can purchase the HP DeskJet 2755E all-in-one printer from HP's website or from Amazon. It costs about 105 Canadian dollars or 84 dollars US. In short, if you're looking for a low volume printer for occasional at-home printing, the HP DeskJet 2755E I think will be a really good choice. But don't take my word for it. Will it pass the puppy test? Will Rainy enjoy the spoils of the printer or make another choice? Mm -hmm. Would you like some of the photos from the HP printer or a chicken and waffle bite? All right, which one? Which one? Which do you want? What? Look at, look at those beautiful children. Look at this cute dog. You're not even going to... Now you're looking, now you're enjoying the photos. I've reviewed plenty of printers. Check out this other HP option or see if the Canon Pixma printer is a better fit for you right now.